welcome back to the Tokyo Creative Channel. I'm Sharla, not Emma. I'll be your host today. <laughs> I'm actually going to be telling you guys my five favorite moments uh, from the trip so far, from the journey across Japan trip. I've been very lucky to have been invited to join Chris on his trip. I've been here for almost a month now. That's crazy. It's been an action-packed month. We've been all over the Japan sea coast. We've seen lots of places. We're not done yet. We still have about two weeks to go. But I'm gonna tell you guys my top five memories from the trip so far. All right, I'm gonna do this in order. I'm gonna tell you my fifth favorite memory, working all the way up to my ultimate favorite memory so far. So probably number five would be the monkey park. I was really impressed with the monkey park. I thought it was gonna be really touristy. I thought the monkeys might be in cages or something like that, but they weren't. They were just free to roam around. I really loved how they just walked by you. They weren't scared of humans at all. They were just really chill and they were walking around the park like, I don't know, it felt very natural and not like a big setup thing like a zoo or anything. The baby monkeys were so cute as well. I got a really cute shot of a baby and you were able to feed them. That was nice as well. I really recommend the monkey park. Um, it sounds like it would be a really touristy thing, but it was nice. Number four is also a memory from Kyoto. This was actually at Fushimi Inari, which I've been to twice now. Uh, it's probably the number one spot that everybody goes to in Kyoto, which means there are lots of tourists there all the time. But even so, I would still recommend that you go there because it's beautiful. It's quite the experience. So the first time I went, I hiked all the way up through the gates, uh, all the way up to the top of the mountain in the daytime. But this time on this trip, I went at night. It was pitch black and the whole shrine area is just dimly lit. It's not completely dark, but it's dimly lit. It's really creepy. It's got a really creepy vibe to it. Just picture a Shinto shrine in the dark with some glowing lanterns and you're on a mountain. It's very like horror movie-esque, which I love. I love horror films, so it's basically all I watch. <laughs> and it was really cool to be in that situation. However, I was with two friends. I think if I went alone, I might not be able to handle it. I might have been a little too creeped out, but because I was with friends, it was just perfect. Unfortunately, the mountain was closed off and we couldn't go all the way up, which I really wanted to do, but I did get a really good feel for what the shrine is like at nighttime, and I can definitely recommend it to you guys. I really enjoyed it. All right, number three is actually something that happened just yesterday. We had stopped filming for the day. We ended up on a beach here in Matsuyama and the sunset was, it was breathtaking. It was so good, but it's not the best sunset I've ever seen. I'll be talking about that one later on, but it was so good. It was so nice. We were just chilling on the beach. We got some ice cream from a local famous ice cream shop and we were just relaxing on the beach, enjoying the sunset, listening to music. I think that would be, yeah, that, that's easily my third favorite memory from the trip. Number two, we're getting up to my favorite one. So this is really high up there on the list. We spent the night in Osaka uh, drinking in the streets. And my favorite part of the night was when we decided to approach some strangers and ask them to teach us Osaka Ben. I'm really nervous about going up to strangers and talking to them and asking them if they want to be in my videos and stuff. So I don't do it too often, but I'm really glad we did in Osaka because the group of people that we ended up talking to, they were university students. They were super chill. They were really excited to get to know us and teach us some Osaka Ben. We just kind of sat there for a while drinking with them outside. They taught us about Osaka. They gave us some recommendations for places to go. It was just a really cool experience. It kind of gave me the courage to do it more. That rest of the night we, we drank quite a bit, but not too much. We, di we didn't get sick. It was a nice level of alcohol. <laughs> then we went to karaoke. Uh, we had some really delicious food and the views in Osaka, you guys, at nighttime. If you're a photographer, even if you're not a photographer, even if you suck at taking photos, as long as you have like an iPhone, you could take some really, really nice night photos of the streets in Osaka. Chris got a really cool one. I'll insert it here. He's been promoting it any chance he gets, so I'm sure he'll be really excited that I'm showing it to you guys now. Go, go find it on Instagram and like it. He will, he will be very happy and he'll brag about it for months. But 
Chris took this really cool photo in an alleyway. You can get lots of nice shots like this really easily. All right, my number one memory from the trip, and I know for sure that nothing that will happen after today will top this. This is probably one of the best memories of my entire life. Me and Chris cycled the Shimanami Kaido, and when we got to the end, uh, the last bridge, the major bridge that's like four kilometers long, this gorgeous bridge. We got there right as the sun was setting. Insert footage of the best sunset you will ever see in your entire life. And uh, like on top of the views, which were ridiculous, we both just felt really accomplished that we had made it to the end of the Shimanami Kaido. We had actually done the cycle. It was hard. Our legs hurt a lot. <laughs> they still hurt today. But I felt, yeah, I felt really proud of myself that I made it and the sunset was like our reward for trying so hard. And now when people ask me one thing that they should do when they come to Japan, I can say with confidence you should cycle the Shimanami Kaido. If you can't cycle for whatever reason, you don't want to cycle, go there in a car, uh, walk it, uh, just go there and enjoy the view. It was so good, you guys. I'm sure this footage doesn't do it justice. It's really something that you need to see in person. So this is me telling you, go there. You will not regret it. Save up money and make the extra trip down to the area. Don't just stay in Tokyo if you come to Japan. Make the extra trip down to the Shimanami Kaido and do it you will fake me and then come over to my channel and let me know how it was because I know you will love it. All right guys, those are my top five moments from the journey across Japan trip so far. We still got two weeks left, so there will probably be some more wonderful moments after this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this recap so far and thanks for watching. Bye.